state were overloaded, inundated with too much water yesterday. That is a fact, and uh, I'm, I'm very concerned about the Pine Valley Mountain River. Those areas, uh, other parts are going to have some problems, especially if we get like a three or four inch rain on top of a hot couple of days. Yeah. So we're going to have to monitor that very, very carefully. But no problem this morning with uh, any runoff. It was what? all about snow this morning. Yes, were you up early Can enough to see it? it? Did no. you have to drive in it? Uh, there was about an inch reported in South Ogden, a few spots just enough to cover the ground, but hey, it uh, it snowed a bit and it certainly made it feel a little bit like winter, although those beautiful trees in the background certainly indicate it is spring. This afternoon, however, we've uh, put kind of we're in a, a big donut hole around this low pressure. The low pressure is so big it encompasses this entire region. And so right up in here, this is the wrap around the upper part of the low and it's spiraling around in a uh, in a counterclockwise fashion. So because of the sunshine we're getting, we're into the 50s, but this zone right here, this is going to pivot towards the Wasatch Front and the Northwest Flow and that's going to get us tomorrow morning. Even Phoenix is cool at 65, 55 in Los Angeles, but same, they've missed out on everything. This storm went all the way up to Yellowstone Park and er, stopped. Didn't even make it to Great Falls, and it's 72 there right now. The low pressure area, the main low has kind of split into two parts. There's one part here and then another part here, and that's why it's raining kind of near St. George and Cedar City. I expect a few showers there, but as this begins to pull eastward, that's going to pull this part of the storm right over the top of us. You see this zone right here? This is tomorrow for the morning hours, the Wasatch Front from Nephi North towards uh, Malad and Montpelier. This zone right here is going to have periods of rain with bench snow. So plan on that for the morning. By Saturday, this ridge of high pressure will be our best friend. As it moves in, only a few lingering clouds across eastern Utah should be a delightful day Saturday and those temperatures whoosh, are going up. 51 chance for rain and snow in the morning in Cache Valley, then 62 tad cooler on Sunday as a little weak weather front moves by. 69 by Tuesday and guess what? There's another set of storms and I looked at all three of the computer models so I could see are they in tandem, are they in agreement and they all are in agreement. Beginning Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of the end of the week, we're going to do it all over again. We're going to have some more storminess. So look at the Wasatch back, 44 and a chance for snow. There'll be several inches of snow in the mountains of northern Utah, even a few very light showers around Price. You're up to 71 on Tuesday, and then a chance for some thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. A kind of the uh, old raw, uh, roller coaster ride thing here. We're going up and then down, and in the middle of it, we get a 70 degree high on Tuesday with some wind back to the 50s with a chance for showers, even a mix of rain and snow by Thursday in the Uinta Basin. So uh, definitely going to be kind of a wild and crazy week. 56, a chance for a few showers around Cedar City, then all the way up to 76, 77, then dropping it back into the 60s for the uh, southeastern part of the state, including Moab and Arches, Cedar City, chance for those showers and wind on Tuesday and 50s for Wednesday and Thursday. 51, though, for your high tomorrow and a lot of dark clouds out there. St. George, you're going to like this. Cool day for us tomorrow. Sunshine, though, up to 84 on Monday. Tuesday, a bit windy, 83. And then <laughs> Wednesday and Thursday, a few showers and a few thunderstorms as that next series of storms moves in. It looks like we're kind of on a seven-day cycle now. The storms are moving in about one every seven days. They linger for two or three days. So we're in the last part of this storm tomorrow morning. Chance for rain and high bench snow, 52 the high. Afternoon showers, 64 Saturday, 61 Sunday, 67 Monday, 71. On Tuesday, the wind, and then we do it all over again. This is like deja vu because it started on Wednesday this week and then went Thursday, Friday. So yeah. there were a lot uh, of flakes coming down this morning. That, it was a big surprise for What a few time people. was that at about? About right around eight, nine. Yeah, <gasps> I missed it. Yeah, okay. good to have missed it, I yeah. guess. <laughs> Thanks a lot.